In this video, we're going to talk about how to power your Arduino sensor shield. Now, there are four possible scenarios when powering your sensor shield, and it's going to depend on whether or not you have this pin connected here and whether or not you have an external power supply connected. We're going to test out all four scenarios first with the pin off, so this is not connected, and with just the Arduino connected to the 5 volts power supply. This one right here gets 5 volts and this one right here gets nothing. So whenever the Arduino is just purely connected to a 5 volt power supply only this section is going to get 5 volts. This section right here is not going to get anything. So what is it going to look like when you have the 5 volt power supply and a external output. So again we'll do the same test. So this side still gets the 5 volts and this side gets the 8 volts so this one is going to get powered through the 9 volt battery. Now I'll unplug the external battery and I'll go ahead and put the jumper selector on. Now if you don't have a power selector or your board didn't come with it, you could always use a female to female jumper wire to connect the two pins and you will achieve the same results. Again, let's measure the voltage. So here we still get 5 volts and here we also get 5 volts. So with the pin connected, both of these will get the same 5 volt supply from the Arduino power supply. Now let's connect the external power supply. With the external power supply connected, we get 7.9 volts here and also 7.9 volts here. So with the pin connected and with the external power source, both of these will get powered through the external power source. 